Whether we're at home, in a restaurant, or at a concert, we all love seeing video on the largest, highest quality screen possible. One popular way to do this is with a video wall. There are lots of factors to think about when putting one together, and in this video, we will cover the entire process. If you are designing and installing a video wall for your client, there are some essential questions that you must ask. How big is the space? What kind of content will you be showing? Can you control the lighting around you? What sources will be playing? How will you control the video wall? Would you like to see one large image or different sources on different screens? Asking the right questions and surveying the space will help you design the right system for the client and help ensure that your installation goes as planned without any surprises. One of the most important decisions is how big to make the video wall. Take into consideration how big the space is, what kind of content will be shown, and where the wall will be viewed from. Once you figure this out, the rest is a matter of picking out the right screens to use in the video wall. Take into consideration screen size, screen brightness, viewing angles, and the size of the bezel. The smaller the bezel, the better. Next, it's time to figure out how you will mount the screens and where the components will go. Traditionally, the screens will mount to the wall, however there are portable video wall solutions available. For the cleanest installation possible, find a location where all the electronics can be stored out of sight. Now let's figure out how we will be controlling the video wall. One popular option is the AV Pro Cloud9 matrix switch and video wall processor. Sources connect directly to it, and displays can be connected with HDMI cables or extenders. One common use for a video wall is in a public bar. With the Cloud9 video wall processor, you could watch an event as one big image across the entire video wall, or you could watch individual events on individual screens. Now, the final decision to be made is how you will control the video system. Rather than trying to control each display, each source and the processor, the easiest solution would be a control system. Most customers want a system that is easily controlled by a smartphone or a tablet. Last but not least, be sure to calibrate the video wall. Inconsistent color among screens edges not lining up correctly and a video wall that is too bright or too dark all result in a bad experience for the viewer. A video wall can be the most impactful piece of your installation and following these steps carefully before you begin the installation is paramount. If you have any questions on designing or installing a video wall, call our sales and tech support teams who will be happy to help. And for more information on all of our products, visit avproedge.com Always on the cutting edge.